Having Search Console set up for your website is literally like having the cheat codes to see what's going on. But it's only for Google search data, so it's not going to show you clicks or anything coming from Bing or DuckDuckGo or other search engines like that. And it won't show you the clicks that you're getting from LLMs like ChatGBT. It's purely for your organic performance on Google search. So it won't show you your ads or anything like that either. So if you want to see clicks on Bing, you need to install Bing Webmaster Tools. If you want to see your referral traffic coming from ChatGBT, you'll need Google Analytics 4. And then ad performance will be in Google Ads and Google Analytics as well. So if you don't have Search Console set up, it's really easy to do. You just need to go to search.google.com. And if you don't see any websites in here, you'll have the option to add a website. So once you click add a property, you're going to have the option to add a domain or a URL prefix. You want to add your domain first if you don't have one. A URL prefix is for tracking a specific part of a website, such as a subdomain. For example, if you wanted to track a subdomain like app.website.com separately from your main website, you'd use a URL prefix. But most of the time, you're going to go with the domain setup. And you should always set up your domain first if you don't have that already. All you need to do is type in the domain of your website and hit continue. And then it's going to try verifying the property of your domain. To verify the domain, you just need to add a DNS record. It'll usually detect what you're using for your DNS provider. So it found that I'm using Cloudflare. All I need to do is hit start verification. Then it'll take me to this window where I can add the DNS record to my domain. I just gotta hit authorize. And then it will say ownership verified. 